Well, hello there. This is Mehmet Ama. Welcome to this video. This video is targeting parents. A lot of the advice I will give will come from the woman's perspective because tada, I'm a woman and I will borrow on other people's experiences to try and leverage a side for the men to also benefit from. But today I want to talk about raising kinks, raising kinks. Raising kinks is an agenda that needs to be quite high for a lot of the communities that are similar to the one I come from. Most of us have spent a lot of time raising queens. We teach the women how to keep home. We teach the women how to be good wives. We teach the women how to be submissive. We teach the women, teach the women, teach the women, preach the women. Aye! The women are definitely tackled. The question then becomes, who raises the kings? And in most homes, if you would be honest, nobody. Nobody tells a boy how to be a husband. How many men were told how to be husbands? You tell me. I'm asking an open question. How many of the men watching this video were actually taught how to husband in your home? You were told that you were the leaders. Did anybody teach you how to lead? Did anybody show you how to lead? Did anybody teach you how to command respect? Your wife is supposed to submit. That's what we tell the men. Well, what exactly are the women submitting to? That has been the problem in this society for quite a while. Yeah, a lot of our men have been left irresponsible. Not necessarily in terms of money. No. The responsibility for the father in the home is very wide. It's very deep. It requires deep understanding in order to be able to stand and deliver. And nobody actually ever discusses this. I'm a man! I am the head of the home. Good. Come. Who gave you executive training to be the head of the home? Who gave you that executive training? Well, you are the CEO. Well, hooray. Did you just wake up one day as a CEO? Do you understand the responsibilities of the CEO? Do you understand what it means to be the head of the home? And in most cases, the answer is no. Raising kings is actually done effectively by queens who understand the gaps that existed in their own kings and you address those deficits for your young kings. So I am a woman who has married a man for quite a few years. In my marriage, there are many, many ways that I'd have preferred to meet my husband. There are some things that I'd have preferred to meet him doing and there are some things that I have would have preferred to meet him not doing. Depending on the man you meet, depending on the men you have encountered around you, it's not necessarily only the man that you are married to. Your father is also another figure to look at. The things in your father that have made your mother's life difficult are the very things you need to teach your son never to do to somebody's daughter. Never. The thing that your husband or your man has done to you, with you, or has not done for you to you, or your kids, that has been frustrating, is something you want your son to know and bear in mind. As a woman who would appreciate the kind of help that a husband gives me, well, I'm raising a young man who is very, very handsome. And when he's lazy and doesn't want to do it, I eat his eyeballs. I eat his eyeballs because it is me who needs to teach him the importance of these things. No, somebody's daughter should never find my son indulged, completely overindulged, so he is not ready to be a supportive spouse. Mm -mm. It is my job to teach him. The way I like to be led, at least, is one way that my son needs to be an expert in. The woman he meets might want to be led differently, but at least he would know how I want to be led. He will have the capacity to do things the way I knew how and preferred, so that he at least has a starting block that he can use as a springboard to amend and adjust to his new queen when he meets her. 
It is me who needs to teach my son humility because I'd have valued it to found it or I value it when I found it. Two things. You either would have valued it if you found it or you value it because you have found it. Either way, you've got to make sure your new king, your young king, the lion is taught. The lion cannot just roar and make noise in the environment. No, his roar should be rare. But somebody needs to teach him. Otherwise, he will waste his energy screaming and shouting. And after a while, nobody cares when he roars because it is something that is heard in the jungle every night. Oh, it's the lion again. Uh, no. When the lion roars, people should know that an action is about to occur. And it should be something that happens really. Teach your lion to not roar at silly things. He cannot scream and shout for no reason. Teach your king when his voice must be raised. Yes, he has a powerful voice. But it's not every time that he should use his lip to destroy. Uh -uh. You need to teach your king the responsibility of the power we invest in them. Somebody has to teach them. Somebody has to teach him. And in my book, his mama is his first teacher. His mama should be his best teacher, supported by his daddy in your actions. Between the king and the queen that birthed this little lion should be a lot of education until this lion becomes the king of the jungle. I like re referencing The Lion King because it's a ridiculous film, but it teaches quite a lot of values. There are many times when the little cub had been told that he was a lion and he was the king of the jungle. Well, he found himself in situations where his roar meant nothing to anybody. That day, his dad had to do it for him to see it. And the little lion realized that it wasn't just about having a roar and making a noise. There are a certain set of mannerisms, there's a certain set of behaviors that made his father's roar stand out and send shivers down the spines of the other organisms. Yes. That's why you should stay in your son's life, regardless of what happened between you and his mom, so that you can show him. How can I teach a boy how to roar when I am just a lioness? I scratch and I bite. That's all I can teach him. There are so many boy men who are actually stuck in these circumstances because, well, the people teaching them to roar don't draw. I don't roar. <clears throat> I yell. <clears throat> I scratch. That's all I can teach him. And we've created all these boys who whine and complain even better than women. Well, because that's what they've been taught. They whine and complain because the Mufasa, who should have been there to teach his son what to do, has vacated his post. Mm, so the vultures are taking your position and you are busy teaching him all sorts of random things, right? Yeah. I always say this to the men that I encounter, especially with teenage boys. I have a teenage son. I have a son who's 18. These days, he tells me things which are hilarious. Yesterday, I took him to the barbers. And on our way there, I was teasing him that the two of us were having a hairdressing exercise. And very quickly, he says, Mom, what would you know about men and how we groom our hair? Rightfully so. What would I know about men and how they groom their hair? He trusted his dad to clip his beard better than I could. What experience do I have for clipping beard? <laughs> he has a valid argument. I mean, what do I know about trimming beard? Nothing. Who knows how to trim a beard? Is his dad. Because he sees his dad with a beard, which is well trimmed. So yeah, he told me point blank on a video yesterday that he prefers his dad to trim his beard and to discuss beard with him. The argument raising some of our kings is lost with the women because we are incompetent in raising them in some of the things that they need to be raised in. And no, they cannot, he can't, he respects my ability to do certain things. But my knowledge of beard and how to groom men hair, mm -mm. the last time I tried to help him shave, I gave him a um, feminine a shaving cream <laughs> for his very masculine parts. And the result was a disaster. That was one of the days that I realized that a lioness does not raise a cub to become a lion. You can teach him some things, but there will certainly be certain deficits 
a telepasa is not home to teach his little cup. Yeah, I can't teach him how to pee like a man. <laughs> what do I know about that? Nope. It is women like me who have taught a lot of men to squat to pee. <laughs> That's the only way I know how to be. And in my book, there's nothing wrong with it. But then, also be honest. When you go to see a guy squatting to pee, isn't it funny? <laughs> so we are turning a lot of lions into things that are indescribable. You see this masculine guy peeing like a girl. It's confusing for the boy. It's confusing for all of us watching. Is he a man? Is he a boy? Is he a girl? Who knows? We've created a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion in the environment as a result of this. We need to be purposeful in raising our kings. We need to be intentional in raising our kids. We need to be passionate and dedicated to the cause. Because you see, the whole environment, the whole society relies on every single one of us to do this job right. Because one man gets it wrong and we all suffer the consequences in the environment. I need to raise mine right. So that when your daughter encounters my son, she is taken care of. You need to raise yours right. So that when your son encounters my niece, all is well. We all need to do well to improve that which majority of us have complained about. Many of my friends and I have sat and moaned about the sons that were not raised right that we ended up with. Well, we do now have a chance to do better as we claim we can. We claim we know better. Well, <laughs> this is the time to show it, don't you think? Raise your Mufasa. And for those of you who have learned how to teach your Mufasas and to enable them to raise their little cups and to turn your little cubs into the next Mufasas who will bring order and sanity into this environment. I raise a glass to you. Thank you very much for doing this gallant job. I know it is difficult. I know you have a lot of scars whilst you do it. But ask yourself, what kind of kid are you raising? What kind of role will they play in society? Will they know their place or will they occupy their space or will they be confused because you were not clear about the importance of your job. Feel free to put your answers in the comments. And if you don't want to put it out publicly, at least ponder on it. Let's reflect and let's all help us to do better. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. At least I hope you learned from it. And I do invite you to share this and invite other people to watch it. Put it on all the platforms today. Yep. I'll see you soon. Thank you.